All right, we're up to a thousand calories. We've got a year and a half left. Oh, this is, this is not looking good. Come on, what's over here? It's a bunny. Come on, bunny. Ah, whoa, oh shit, bear. But he's distracted. Come on, guys, if we can kill this bear, we got ourselves 2,500 calories. Oh shit, crocodile. Oh my God, what the hell? Hello once again from the Tokyo jungle, my Jade Warriors. Awesome to have you back here with me. I love having you guys by my side while I hack my way through the wilderness of Tokyo. Yes, as I promised last episode, we're going to get straight into a new game and we're going to play the hell out of the Silky Terrier. It is uh, the only pretty much class that is still open to us that we haven't yet tried out. It seems that each of these different animals require you to complete a specific challenge. So for example the bunny requires you to complete the chick challenge and so forth. So I'm going to be checking out the challenge list as soon as we enter the game and get started with our adorable Silky Terrier. How many of you guys have actually got a pet? I would love to know what you guys have as pets. Like me myself, I've got Gigi here in Japan, in Australia. I used to have three dogs but unfortunately that was a while ago they've all passed away and headed on to doggy heaven where I have already sent a ton of doggies in this game I feel kind of bad right about now but it's okay we're going to get our own back by making sure our good little silky terrier here lives for as long as possible let's pump out a couple of generations guys lay down your bets right now how long do you think our little guy is gonna last for not for long at this rate if I can't find some food and quickly, my god, there's nothing up this end of this frickin' main train station, so... Can I kill those birds? No? No, oh, come on. Bruh. Alright, so... It's great to have you guys back, as always. I've already broken a promise. I said I'll check out the challenge list as soon as I entered the game, so I'm gonna do that right now. I just... This game is so involving, guys. It just pulls you in immediately. If you guys haven't picked up a copy, please do so if you got a PS3, because it's a lot of fun. And I really want you guys to experience it, rather than just watching me having all the fun on your behalf. Anyway, let's have a look at this challenge list. So we've got defeat 10 animals here, intake this, head to that, Dogenzaka. Yes, I can do that. Uh, uh, all E challenges. Can I get a little more detail? What are the E challenges? Hmm. I don't know. I'm a little worried, because I swear we had a pretty decent, you know, uh, game last last session didn't we gang we almost lasted to 30 years with our fat cat family but i guess uh that wasn't enough to even unlock one animal so yeah i didn't see anything uh that looked like a chick challenge in that uh challenge list but i did find myself a magazine man i'm starting to stockpile a few magazines aren't i speaking of items i should jump in make sure i've got our good old mate Toto on my back and I've got a headlamp on my head. Yay Toto! Yay! I love Toto. So nice to have you by my side dude. You know what I probably should have done though guys in the last uh, episode? I totally forgot. I guess I was panicking as I saw you know the light appear before my life, my eyes and life was flashing before my eyes that uh, I totally forgot that I had a small stockpile of items in my inventory that I probably could have used to survive long enough to get back into Dog and Zaka. But, yeah, unfortunately, panic got the better of me and I, yeah, I totally lost my cool. Which, you know, was unacceptable considering I was a cool cat! Go away! Go away, you big dog! I've just started this game! Piss off! Oh, leave me alone! I just started this game! Piss off! Yes, yes! You are confused! You don't know where I went! You have no idea where I am! Thank you, Toto! Ah, oh, thank God Toto's got our back, guys. We probably wouldn't have survived to even our second year if it wasn't for Toto. Come on, Caution! Get the hell down! I'm gonna sneak kill that bastard if he's hanging out near some grass. Ugh. There we go, I think we're getting pretty close now. Nope. 
Again, I hate this camera. This camera angle is just paying me off because I can't freaking... Uh, can I get ahead of him and into this grass quickly? Yeah! Hell yeah! I, I, oh yeah, this is gonna be sweet! Wait for it! Boom! <laughs> Serves you right, Mr. Freaking Golden Retriever! Because Mr. Silky Terrier's in town! Mm-hmm! Haha! <laughs> Wash down that freaking Golden Retriever with a little bit of water. So, let's piddle here! and get to the rest of the piddle points. I'm gonna have a quick look here at our inventory. And yeah, it seems that every time you die, you lose everything you got on your person. So damn, I really should have been putting those items to better use in the last playthrough. But hey, you live and you learn. Or in this game, you die and you learn. <laughs> everything affords you a little education, it seems. So let's have another quick look here. All right, just the one more piddle point to go. I bet you there's 24 freaking golden retrievers guarding it. All in military outfits. And Uzis by their side. Ready to take me on. Why was that purple? That was purple for a second there. Why was the sleeping bunny showing up as purple? That makes no sense. But it doesn't have to because I'm a veteran. And oh, what animal is that? Oh, it's a bunny. Whew. Shit, that was a risk and a half. Just throwing myself out there. Come here, bunny! Oh, not a bunny. <laughs> Chick. Come here, chicken! How many of you guys do I have to eat to complete this chicken challenge? Because I want to unlock some more animals. The challenge list system makes no sense to me right now. You guys have got to explain it to me. Can I just read your entra entrails and uh, read your futures? And how the hell you're supposed to unlock the the freaking other animal classes for me? Come on, stop moving! Ah, oh, that works as well. I can just dodge myself closer to these guys. Ah, I didn't even think of that. There we go. Not only is the game teaching me new things, I'm teaching myself new things. I feel so smart right now. That was quite a clever little discovery. But, ah, stops. Stopping in the grass when I don't want you to, son. Shit. Damn it, the frickin' bunny got away. Can I kill something here without too much trouble? Yes, I can! Sweet, there we go. That'll get my hunger up a little bit. And improve my own confidence level. I know I can totally impress those female silky terriers. Oh, finally I can say bitch again, because I know what the hell a female dog is. It's a bitch, yay! I can go and press all those. Hey, come back here. Don't you go jumping over the terrain. That's cheating. You're supposed to get trapped in a corner. Eh, hey, dirty bitch. Dirty bitch. Come on, Toro. My little buddy. Come on, let's ride ourselves to someone a little healthier. Someone that's not going to cough all over us while we're making sweet love. No, that's my, not my idea of a good time. Speaking of good times... Actually, uh, on Sunday, guys, last Sunday, pretty much a week ago now, there was a typhoon here in Tokyo. And, man, the winds were strong, the rain was strong. And uh, the funny thing was, I just killed myself a pigeon. And I had to uh, run home in the wind and rain because of, <laughs> because of the fact that the train stopped running due to the high winds, which was really sucky and sad. But, it was not all uh, a waste, no. In fact, I had my music on the whole time, and I was listening to the new uh, Owl City song, Good Time. Oh yeah, baby. I was listening to Good Time the whole way home, and loving the crap out of it. Damn, that was awesome. Just perfect, because... Wind, hail, or shine, or frickin' twister and tornado in your face, guys. You can always have a good time, as long as you keep a positive attitude. So I hope you guys are always trying to keep yourself in a positive frame of mind. Always look on the bright side, as it were. Because hell be damned if I don't. You know, it makes life a hell of a lot more worth living, guys, if you just afford yourself a little smile now and then. Even in the frickin' wind and rain. If you can laugh at yourself 
laugh at the situation you find yourself in, you know that your life's going pretty well. Yeah. And that I'm going to try and kill these bigger dogs. Yes. And come on, get in there with a few... Oh, shit. Okay, it's all right. It's all good. Oh, shit. We're just going to... Watch yourself and attack! Oh no! No! Ah oh, shit! Come on! Come on, Silky! Ah oh, shit, shit, shit! Oh god! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! No, no! We're not gonna fucking die! No! No! Oh! Damn you, big dog! But we're gonna have a good time! Don't, 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 don't! We're gonna have a good time! Oh my god, that sucks! But, doesn't matter, does it guys? Wind, hail, rain or shine, we're going to have a good time. Anyway, that wasn't so long. That was just a little short little while, right? That wasn't that long, so I think uh, we can still have another attempt at that. Are you guys with me? Do you want to see me have another try? Hell yeah, you do. Because we are having a hell of a lot of fun today. Yay, new game. Let's get straight back in there with our Silky Terrier, and hell be damned if I don't figure out how to unlock something this episode. We just have to remember to leave packs of bigger dogs well enough alone. That's why we're small, cute, and adorable. So we can just charm the, the herbivores into just giving themselves up, up for a dinner. Offer themselves up for a meal. Isn't that right, little Mr. Herbivore? No! Don't you see I'm cute and adorable? Come back! You're supposed to die for me! Thank you! See, it's the big, cute puppy eyes that does it. It's like, oh, big cute puppy eyes. <laughs> oh, snap. I'm crazy. I'm crazy, guys. I'm crazy with happiness. That's what it is. Ah, oh, damn it. Stupid bunnies woke each other up. I was going to take care of these awake bunnies and then move on to their sleeping comrades, but can't do that now. Freaking die already, you son bitch! There we go. Damn. I guess I should be doing more like attacks, uh, just basic attacks once the animals are fleeing from me. Just doing a few claw swipes, but it does seem to charge. Uh, well, bam charge me, slow me down considerably if I do that, so. Mm. For sure, what should we do? What should we do, gang? What should we do? We should piddle, piddle, piddle here at the piddle point. We should piddle, piddle, piddle on these sleeping bunnies. Can't imagine they would appreciate that, though. Come on, eat that bunny carcass. Strip the frickin' flesh from the bones. Don't waste anything. See, our Silky Terrier, he's a good little considerate boy. He's not letting anything get, go to waste. Not like us freaking reckless humans. We'll just take a bite out of a full fillet steak and throw the rest in the trash, won't we, guys? Man, we are spoilt. We're spoilt individuals. Spoilt mammals. I wonder what happened to us in this game. What is the story behind our sudden disappearance from existence? Oh, that reminds me, we should check out the story section of the main menu as well, shouldn't we guys, to see if any stories have opened up. Because, yeah, everything seems locked down pretty tight at the moment. This game is not only a frickin' post-apocalyptic assimilator, it is also a Fort Knox assimilator. It's showing us how frickin' tight security can be on frickin' features and uh, all the good stuff that we want to get our hands on. Yeah, gold finger for the whim. Is anyone else uh, looking forward to the new James Bond movie? I freaking love James Bond. I love the games. I actually got the platinum in the re-release re of um, ah, the re-release of Gold GoldenEye. It was a lot of fun, especially the multiplayer. I had a lot of fun playing that. Because I used to play the hell out of that when I was a little boy on the old Nintendo 64. Had a lot of fun playing the old GoldenEye back in the day. I'm sure a lot of you guys did it too. I'm sure you have a few, more than a few fond memories of kicking your friend's asses at 4 o'clock in the morning. 
over a few shots of tequila, even though you're still in primary school. My God, the liquor laws in whatever country you're from are too slack. Uh, in Australia, it's like 18, which is actually pretty lenient. <laughs> I think it's one of the most lenient uh, liquor laws in the world. But still not enough, if you ask me. I do not endorse alcoholism in any way, because I just realized when I gave that a thought that that sounded a little too, whoa, a little too much like I'm endorsing underage drinking, which I don't. It's not good, guys. Trust me, it tastes all the sweeter when it's uh, time to drink it when you're of age. Just like it's time to eat a chicken corpse. It tastes so much better when it's given to you with presents, you know, hidden away inside. I guess all these chicken corpses and animal corpses are like freaking fortune cookies. You crack them open and freaking gifts pop out. Oh, like you, but you're not one of those gifts I like. You're not the fortune I want to read out of my fortune cookie. No, you're diseased and dirty and horrible in so many ways. Uh, let's hope the other the other bitch in this zone is nice and clean. Nice and slick. Nice and adorable. And can match me in a, a game of cute eye. Because I'm going to be throwing the big eyes her way. You know, you want to get down and funky go? You know our children will have the biggest possible eyes. They'll be able to seduce any, even carnivore, into giving up their life. Oh yeah, and this is the girl that we're going to be able to accomplish that feat of evolutionary mastery with. Hell yeah, I just know it. This is the girl that we're going to get down and funky to have the most important babies of all. The ones that can charm the socks off animals that don't even wear them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was a cap, wasn't it? And I just realized I haven't actually equipped ourselves the items yet. Man, I'm forgetful. I keep forgetting that stuff. Uh, we got the headlamp and we got the wool beanie, but they seem to afford the same amount of defense. So let's go with the wool beanie. This is adorable. No collar yet. Toto's got our back once again. Literally in the paws of... In the palms of his paws? In the paws of his paws? I'm not sure how that works with cats. But yes, he's got us anyway. We are his to freaking move like a puppeteer if he desires. Reminds me of that episode of Futurama. Oh, no, no, no. No, it doesn't. Actually, did they do that in Futurama? It reminds me, though, of the good old movie Ratatouille, where the rat is pulling the hairs of our French, uh, French man and guiding him in the most amazing cooking skill talent this side of the frickin' Statue of Liberty. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of setting records this side of the Statue of Liberty, we just had the most epic frickin' load of sex the world has ever frickin' seen. Look at that, we got, we got three! Three little pussy members by our side! Hell yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! And we got a success and a challenge. All right, I'm going to have another quick look here at this challenge list to see if there's any recommendation on where we should head next. Okay, we've got Defeat the Beagle Boss in the Shibuya Shop District. Complete all E challenges. Ah, gotcha! So E, 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 and then you get a super bonus in the form of a piece of clothing, I'm guessing. Very, very cool. All right, so let's uh, mark four times, change generations one time, which we just completed, and defeat the Beagle Boss. Where is he at? Bring him on! Come on, I'll kick his ass. In the shopping district? Ah, crap, I'm still learning the names of exactly what they're calling all these different zones. I wish they were just using the Japanese name for every zone, but mm, let me think. Dogentaka, I think, is on the left, so we're going to head right. I'm pretty sure that's the shopping district down there. Ah, there we go. I also just noticed for the first time <laughs> how long into the freaking fifth episode of the series that there's a stamina bar that is used up when I dash forward like that. <sighs> I, I, I literally surprise myself with how oblivious I am sometimes, guys. I hope you guys don't mind that you, you guys will cut me a little bit of slack because uh, sometimes I'm just so hopeless. All right, what zone is this? The Shibuya Shopping District. I was right. 
Uh, for once, I should say. Man, those those rows of mine are just glitching the hell out. Can't, can't even see what they're up to. They're just zoning in and out of freaking space and time, it seems. Whatever that glitch is, I wish my main character had it. Alright, we've got animals around here. Let's hope the passive quick-to-die kind. There we go, yes they are. But also the hard-to-catch kind. My god, chickens are fast. Come on, bros, get in there! Attack that chick! Come on! There we go. If you hold down the triangle, there you go, you gotta hold it down. Ah! Man, I love learning things on my own merit. See, no one told me that. I figured that out all by myself. Do I get a star, teacher? Toro, Toro! Yeah, can I have a star for being such a good little boy? For figuring out that all by myself? I'm eight years old now, right? Shouldn't I get a, a little star that I can put in my sticker book? For being such a smart little boy? Oh, there you go. I just had my eighth birthday and I celebrated it with some KFC. Beautiful. All right, come on. What else? I got to keep leveling up and finding these piddle points. All right, fine. I'll spare you chicken for now, but I won't spare your young. Hell no, I won't spare your young. It's mine. <laughs> come on, eat it. Did I just pick that up? Oh, there you go! I deserve another sticker! I just figured out you can pick up food and relocate it. There you go, that's how you freaking pull the, uh, pull the bosses out of, uh, out of their area towards a, a freaking cover point for me to attack from. Freaking awesome! I love this game! Alright, anything around here that wants to eat that chicken? Dead chicken for free! Anyone? Anyone? Oh, there is a present though, a veterinarian report. Let's have a look at that right now. Let's see what they found out in the archives. I've never seen the animals in such an agitated state when I've been at the zoo. I know, don't know what could be causing this, but one theory is they're ingesting some sort of chem chemical that agitates them making them turn much more savage than before. Please check again to see if there's been any change to their diet. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go, I guess maybe the animals all just went crazy from eating some weird ass, possibly intoxicated meat. And yeah, they just all went on a rampage and digested the entire populace of the entire planet. That's possibly not as far-fetched as it sounds. The more I think about it, you know, if animals united against humanity would probably be pretty stuffed. Even with all our guns and nuclear weapons and superior technology. If all the animals just went, hell no, that won't go, would probably be stuffed pretty, pretty much overnight. But thank God the chicks know their place. They know they're on the bottom of the food chain. Oh, present! Yay, fat food! Remember to put that to use, Zacky boy! Remind me, Toto! Don't let me forget that I've got all these things in my inventory. Don't let me freaking noob it up like I did last time with the poor family of fat cats. The fat cats, they were, they were primed to evolve and become the real thing. Wearing their top hats and smoking on their cigars. Ah, Freaking chicken, stop running back and forth, you son bitch! I should just call in my brothers to assist me, shouldn't I? Oh no! No! Complete all E challenges? I was trying so hard! What did it, why, why did I fail? Ma, oh. You suck, game. I guess I was too slow in taking, all o uh, taking over all of the points in this zone. Why? Why did that happen? Why did it go down like that? Whoa, Beagle! That's the boss! Come on, guys! Boom! Ha ha ha! Damn it. That was the last challenge I needed to complete, wasn't it, guys? Oh my god. And I was freaking, what, 20 seconds too late. I hate you, Beagle. I hate you so much. I'm gonna digest you slowly to make sure you suffer! As I have suffered by missing out on that extra little bit of XP from completing all those challenges. You bastard. Alright, come on. Come on, chicken. You die now. There we go. He's dead. Where's the... Oh, it's gone nighttime. But it's okay, I got my little beanie on. I won't freeze. 
Ah, da, da, da. Another two piddle points just south of us. I'll avoid killing too many animals, I think, to make sure there's some there in reserve, should I need it in the future. And... Hmm... Does the night time also reduce the visibility of animals on the map? Ah, so many little, little things are of great importance I have to double check on a wiki or guide or something. Yay! Another zookeeper record. Act 1, pampered to survival mode. I couldn't finish that. Fine. Collect archives to unlock story mode. There we go! That's what I'm talking about! Select it from the title screen to dive into an animal's story. Completing that story will cause new archives to appear. Thank you! Much appreciated! Ah, And there's my, my little star. They gave me an extra present to substitute as my star. To reward me for my good behavior. Yay! Woo! And there's a silky bitch just over here. Let's see if she's clean. Are you clean? You, no, you're dirty. Get away from me. Ugh. Apparently, though, there are two lairs in this zone. Oh, two, two uh, little beds that we can get down and funky in. Man, the agony of choice. Uh, hell be damned if I'm going to sleep with that diseased girl. Not before at least checking. I need to at least check. That the other chick... Help me guys, help me get this little chick. That the other bitch, I should say, is not diseased as well. Come on. Jump for joy, guys. Jump for joy. We're about to continue our lineage. Yay! <laughs> Oops, we just alerted something to something. Man, why can't I just go to the right there? That sucks. Ah, I'm gonna eat, have to eat another chicken. Come on, gang! Help me out! That's it, gang. That's what I'm talking about. Looking out for me, you guys. You guys. Come on, come here. Group hug. Group hug. Oh, Silky Daria hug. Yeah. Yay. We did good, gang. We did very, very good. Oh, and let's... Ah, oh, let's keep the good times rolling. Don't I have a good time? Hell yeah, gang. That's what I'm talking about. Shit. Apparently toxicity's just come to town though. God damn it. Shiver my timbers. Alright. We're gonna take whoever is up ahead. Whatever our female is, be she diseased, inbred, or a foxy lady. We're gonna take her as our own. Oh thank god you're a foxy lady. Oh, the fates have been kind to me on this day. Whew. Thank goodness. Alright, and as luck would have it, we've got ourselves a hopefully flea-deprived little bed waiting for us. Just just around the corner here. Hell yeah, we do. Yay! All you guys ready? Ready to continue the generations to teach all we have learnt to our kin? Hell you are. There we go. Let's meet. Mm-hmm. Again, thank God the kids are averting their eyes. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, the game really wants me to succeed. At least for this generation. They have li literally offered up a freaking buffet at birth. Can't complain about that. Sweet. Alright, what's the next challenge on our D-list before we freaking run out of time? How long have we got? Live to 20 years. Okay. That's good, we're learning, we're learning. So we've got about another, what is it, six to eight years to get to Dogenzaka. Intake 2,500 calories, and that should be it. We can do that, gang. I think we can do that as long as we've got ourselves more than five years. Hell yeah, we do. We've got six. We've got the luxury of time, gang. So as soon as this freaking... Ah, come on, guys. Help me with this freaking sheep. That's just being a pain in the ass. There we go. Come on, guys. Get in there. I know you're little pups, but you're not going to get your teeth growing in by just standing by and watching me do all the work. Come on, guys. You guys got to help me out here. But I guess I am eating the, <laughs> the spoils of battle all to, all to myself. So I guess I understand their position of just letting me do all the heavy lifting. But come on, gang. Let's get our shit together. Let's get our priorities in order. 
We are family. We should be helping each other out, you lazy bastards. Because we are family. You lazy, lazy bastards. Alright, let's get to Dogenzaka. Hopefully without wasting any time in the freaking tall grass. Come on, Toro, push me. Push me to be all I can be, boy. Come on, Toro. Yay. Oh. Hold on, you led me to a freaking dead end. God damn it. You're supposed to be my guiding light. You're supposed to be my my wishing star that I head towards when I'm in times of need, like right now. And you're just totally letting me down, son. <laughs> Toto, come on. Come on, Toto. I, I believe in you, Toto. Yay, he led us to Shibuya Station. Thank you, Toto. I love you, man. You can hump my back as long as you want. It's all yours. Because <laughs> it ain't getting much action right, action right now. Won't get any action probably for the next couple of years. My god, I'm a bit young to be thinking about those kind of thoughts, aren't I, guys? I should afford my little pup at least until puberty before I'm forcing all those sexual propositions on him. Oh, I guess, though, like any good mother, I should be, you know, reminding my little son that he's got to get married and pump out some babies. Got to continue the family name. I'm so lucky my parents don't put that kind of pressure on me. They couldn't prob possibly give a crap if I ever got married and had kids. But that's because I've got sisters to take care of that for me. Yay. Yay for family. Yay. But damn, I miss my folks, I miss my sisters, I miss my family. It's been a little while since I saw them all back in Australia. Five years, in fact. Oh, Zebra. Uh, I don't really want to push my luck. Yeah, I think we're going to leave the, the Zebra B. Because I, 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 want, I don't want to die. And I imagine he just has to freaking hoof me once and I'll be freaking splattered. Oh shit! Wolf! 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 Come on guys! Come on! I need you guys to freaking step in here! Oh yeah, posse! High five! Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. You guys got my back! Fantastic! Thanks, gang! That means a hell of a lot to me. But we've only got two years left on this 2,500 calorie intake challenge, gang. So come on, let's step it up. Let's get a few more freaking sheep in our gullet. We're going to have to all pull together. Yeah. We're going to have to all pull together, gang, if we're going to pull this off. Because shit, we're only at 700 calories and time's a ticking. Oh shit, I should have been ready to jump. Jump on that. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's awesome. My freaking posse sort of stuns the animal that gives me a little bit of a window to do a killing strike. That's good to know. All right, we're up to a thousand calories. We've got a year and a half left. Oh, this is this is not looking good. Come on, what's over here? It's a bunny. Come on, bunny. Ah, whoa, oh shit, bear. But he's distracted. Come on, guys, if we can kill this bear, we got ourselves 2,500 calories. Oh shit, crocodile. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> no. Oh shit, if we're going to complete this challenge, it's going to have to be through killing that croc gang. Can we do it? Are you guys ready? I hope you guys are ready, because I'm going to need you guys to watch my back. Holy crap. Oh my god, okay. I take it back. Pull out, pull out, gang. No, my posse's dead. Oh, I hate you, challenge system. <laughs> oh man. Oh, my freaking brothers are dead. And all that's left is a freaking crocodile and bear and a freaking zebra guard in my freaking pot. Oh, I'm taking my frustrations out on this golden retriever. You don't mind me, zebra, if I just <laughs> tuck down on this guy in front of you, do you? Oh, man. And then there was one. All of my awesome three musketeers have bitten the dust. Or bitten the frickin' underside of a frickin' crocodile's tongue. Ugh. Oh my god, what do I do, gang? Yep, there's 20 years. We failed all our challenges once again. 
God damn, I didn't even get a... Ah, oh, this is not going... Oh, there's my posse. This is not going to plan. <sighs> Failed another set of challenges. But it's okay, guys. We know how they all work now. We'll know to be more on top of that in the next playthrough. And I am totally going up and over this bear's head. He ain't going to be freaking killing me. Not this day. Hell no. I'm going to try and afford myself at least one more generation of these cute little silky terriers because we are now officially in boss mode. We've reached the maximum rank. And there's only one more. Come on, get... There we go. Let's do a quick claw strike first. We've only got one more piddle point to go. We're already in boss mode, so hopefully we should be able to get down and nasty immediately. As soon as we find our next female friend. Oh, yes. Keep heading the other way, Mr. Crocodile. Yay! Woohoo! Right, now I've got to sneak all the way back again past the crocodiles and bears. Oh my god, this is crazy! Crocodiles and bears? Seriously? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I think he saw me. Oh shit, alright, I'm out of there. Crap. Oh well, at least there's a present over here. That'll raise my spirits a little bit. Oh, portable bed, nice. Alright, let's get head on back to this zone. Let's hope that the females are still there. Yes, they are. Phew. Sneak past Mr. Crocodile here. Mr. Big Lips. Mr. Super Happy Grin. And I'm <laughs> I'm just going to take whatever female there is pretty much right over here, guys. Because I can't risk... Ah, oh, fine. Come on, you dirty freaking... Uh, you ain't silky at all. You're freaking dirty. You're a dirty terrier. Nothing silky about your skin. Ugh. She's got freaking boils and bumps all over her ass. Yada. But anyway, let's just freaking do this. Get a little bit of hunger up. And then get to bed. Close my eyes and hopefully it's quick and, hope it's quick and painless. Oh my god. Come on, Thoto. Close your eyes too. I don't want you watching what I'm doing here. All right. Yay, we survived one more generation. Pardon me. And we've got one bro with us. Not great. Let's have a look at the challenge list. Mark six times, defeat 20 animals, and find billiards galore. What the hell is billiards galore? Uh, is that a shop? Sounds like a shop name. And that would probably make sense, because there's quite a few billiard places in and around Shibuya, guys, so... I'm guessing that's what they're implying. How much meat is in this area? No, not much. Crap. Decision time. Do we push on, or do we head on back to the Shibuya station proper? I think I might have to head on back if I want my... Oh my god, there's no food here whatsoever. Alright, we're gonna have to... Freaking stealth past the crocodile, the bears, and the zebras, and go back to the main station, I think. Because there's not much food in this zone. And if our last episode was anything to go by, holy damn, it gets rough with the packs of wolves and whatevers after a couple of rooftops. So let's not do that to ourselves this time. Let's just get the hell back to the places we know, like the back of our poor, and uh, uh, see what we can do with the resources we have available to us. Alright, crap, there goes my hunger, and as I promised, I'm going to use some of my freaking items here. Alright, sleeping and mating anywhere. <laughs> there we go, gets rid of fleas. Discount pet food, fills the hunger gauge and reduces the toxicity slightly. Beautiful! That's what we needed. Excellent. If my Silky Terrier had Mr. Burns' fingers, he'd be totally doing them right now. Alright, come on, little guy. Keep pushing on here. Man, we're, we're getting longer and longer with these playthroughs, aren't we, gang? It's freaking awesome. It's good to know we can actually get somewhere now. We're not just going to die at the first pigeon that looks sideways at us. No, we're going to actually be able to hold our own 
at least for a good 20, 30, possibly an hour's worth of playthrough from now on out. Yay! You guys let me know if you think that's too long. Do you guys want this split up into like 20 uh, minute episodes? Please let me know in the comments below. If this is just too long and too much of a burden for you guys to watch in one sitting, let me know. Yay! Hero Scarf! Hell yeah! Sweet! Hero Scarf for the win! Holy crap, we're looking totally pimp right now! Hell yeah, we are literally dressed to impress. We look like we literally belong right here in Shibuya, in front of the frickin' fashion district. Oh yeah, we're fitting right in right about now. Hehe. <laughs> Who says there needs to be humans around for fashion to survive? It wasn't me that said it. It was that guy. That guy over there. Off camera. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just joking with you guys, having a good old time. Having a lot of fun as I level up to veteran. Hell yeah. A few more chickens, and I think we'll be ready to open our own KFC. Oh, god damn it. I should really just, if they're not looking my way, I should just really start off with a quick claw slash shimmer game. There we go. Because with the smaller animals, anything, you know, at least on my level of food chain, food chain, I can get in an instant kill. Which is very, very welcome. There we go, just like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it, uh huh, uh huh. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it, uh huh, uh huh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no, help me, bro, help me. Yes, that's it! Yeah, there we go. Man, the mechanics of this game are just so awesome. Alright, let's finish that off. And it looks like there's nothing that's going to even endanger our lives in this starting area game. Only deer and wimpy chickens that haven't even formed their own union yet. They don't even know how to freaking protect themselves in a corporate freaking power struggle world like this. They don't know what they're doing, what's coming, what's going. Yay, Mr. Silk Terrier. You eat all your food, boy. You feel that gullet. Alright, over here what we got. More deer. Excellent, there we go. Perfect strike. Come on, bro, you can dig in too. No, you don't want to dig in? Alright, fine. More for me. And Mr. Toto on my back. Hey, Toto. I love you, dude. So good to have you with me. Oh, man, we're getting... Whoa, 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 What was that? That was a bigger dog. It was a freaking golden retriever. That's what it was. Ah, shit. All right, let's see if I can get the jump on these guys. And in the grass. There we go. Three, two, and one! Oh, sweet. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Kind of proud of that kill, actually. I thought about it, I looked at my surroundings, I thought about what needed to be done, and just realized that while I'm gloating, I'm eating a frickin' poisoned corpse. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. My noobness knows no bounds. Come on, clean frickin' cut of meat, come here. Stop eating all those diseased weeds. So I can eat a nice clean corpse like yours. Ah! Ah, oh, damn it. Oh well. It's alright. I got what I came here for. A little bit of a piddle on the street. With no owner to freaking yell at me or punish me for piddling wherever the hell I want to. Man, you know, growing up in Australia I was lucky. My dogs just had a huge ass backyard that they could run around and enjoy. But, you know, you see all those owners of those big dogs like Golden Retrievers walking around town, giving them their exercise. They always have that bottle of water in their hand, ready to spray the street wherever the dog pees. That must be a pain in the ass. The literal kind. Alright, yay! We found ourselves a clean lady. A clean lady, indeed. Let's change these generations. Let's hope we get a four bro posse by our back this generation. Come on, gal. I'm not gonna stop until you pump out four brothers for me. Come on, keep them coming. Don't stop now. 
Yeah, there we go. At least three bros. You meet my minimum girl. We got ourselves a trophy, freaking pedigree, mm-hmm. And we're gonna make it to 30 years. There's the freaking C challenge point. How close are we to completing this set of challenges? A hell of a long way <laughs> from completing them. We've got to mark one more time, defeat 20 animals, 10 more, and find the billiards galore. That ain't gonna happen in one year, I'm afraid, guys. At least not in the way that time seems to pass in this freaking game of ours. Holy crap, I just realized that's possibly what killed all the humans. The speed of the <coughs> rotation of the planet accelerated so fast that one year it literally passes in one night. So that all the humans, they, they literally just got jettisoned off the face of the planet. Because <coughs> they're all standing on their two legs and they couldn't hold on to anything. They just freaking flew off the face of the planet and that's it. They're gone. Goodbye humans forever! Because you guys don't know how to hang on to freaking something while the earth is spinning at a gazillion, zillion miles an hour. Because all the animals like the Silky Terrier here are so low to the ground, they didn't have to worry about the throwing off orbit. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, there's a sheep. He's going to help us with our hunger problem. Come on, guys, get in there. Oh, damn it, he ran for it. <coughs> ah, part of me. I'm coughing up a storm. Yay, 30 years. That should be another trophy for us, I think. Whoa, holy shit. Holy fudge. Jungle boy. I ain't the jungle boy in this scenario. The freaking lion there is. Holy snap, are you kidding me? Oh, he just stole my freaking dinner. Oh crap, I've got no food and I've got no item to give me food. Holy shit. What do I do? Damn you, Mr. Lion. You're not as cute and cuddly as the freaking Lion King makes you out to be. Oh crap, he's getting aware. He's getting aware. I think he can smell me. The screen's getting all red and shit. Oh, and oh no, no, I was dying. Oh, there we go. Oh, here I was worried that I was about to die by Lion. No, I'm just going to die from... Like a bird, run! <laughs> Death by line was for my next little bro. Oh shit! No! Leave me alone! <laughs> I don't deserve this! Oh, my brothers, they're all dead! No, they're here! But, uh, oh, oh my god! Lose my set! Go back to killing sheep, you freaking big ass bastard! I hate you! I hate you and your strong, muscular freaking form. Actually, I, I'm, I'm a little turned on right now. Can, can you just, you know, eat your fill of something and forget about eating me? So that we can, you know, build a good relationship together? No? No? You're not going to do that for me, Mr. Lion? Fine. But that's the way it's going to be. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to jump into this trash. Oh, I can't, apparently. Oh, well. Oh, oh well, shit, hyenas! Ah! Oh shit, this is not going well! Oh, thank god, one of them's down. Come on, bros, get in here with me. These guys gotta help me. You gotta help me, gang. Come on, gang. Ah, uh, before we freaking die! Uh, no, no, no. Come on, guys, get in there. Yes, yes! Oh, thank you. Oh, guys, that was close. That was a real close claw. A, a very close claw. To my nose, it grazed my face. Holy crap. Crap, that was pretty nuts. Crazy right there. Whew. All right, wow. We've literally lasted longer than our fat cat clan. We are doing pretty well for ourselves considering we're freaking midgets in this freaking animal kingdom that we find ourselves in. Oh my god. I don't know how much longer we're gonna last though, guys, with freaking lions the size of trucks prowling the streets. My god. Oh shit, there he's still there. I thought you went back. Didn't you go back to where you killed that lamb? I gotta try and run past him so I can get to the piddle point up ahead. Ah, man, and into this toxic cloud, apparently. Man, this game does not like to go easy on people. Ah, there we go. I guess I'll just have to return the favor, because I ain't going easy on this game, I'm telling you right now. No sorry. Mm-hmm. Everything that stands in my way between me and my lady, including this cow, is going down! Whoa. 
Oh, crap. Damn, that didn't work as efficiently as I hoped. Wow. Is that, is that hyena literally standing up for that cow? What's going on here? The rules, the rules of this freaking animal kingdom have got all topsy-turvy. Why is a hyena protecting a cow? That makes no sense. Oh my god. Unless this hyena here is the reincarnation of an, an Indian man. An Indian man, thank you, come again. I will protect my brother who was reincarnated as this cow. Oh, my poor little guy. Oh, my little pussy man, he's dead. Ah. I guess that's the lore of the jungle, isn't it, guys? Hyenas protect cows, no question. Alright. I still feel like having another go at this big ass bastard. Considering I seem to be able to. Oh! Beautiful! There you go, if you time the bite well enough, you can actually hurt them pretty bad. Oh! Just like he hurt me pretty bad. Crap! Oh, but. Uh, uh, uh. Ah. Ah. Damn it! Oh well, I guess all good things have to come to an end, don't they, gang? Sigh. And I guess that was a pretty damn long episode as well. <laughs> Again, you guys, let me know if these episodes are too long for you. Should I just play through as normal and then just chuck them up into 20 minute slots? Let me know in the comments below, because, you know, again, I want you guys to watch all this content and enjoy it as much as you can. So, thank you very much for tuning in today, as always, guys. Uh, if you're wondering why I have the system online, uh, the system offline, uh, it's because I don't want all those messages and people online offline popping up in the top right corner. I want you guys to be able to enjoy the game without all that distraction. So, yes, that's why it's offline, but I'll definitely register my scores when I'm playing between these recordings. So anyway, thank you very much guys for tuning in as always. Let me know how you want me to play the game below. And until next time, ojikan mo o tanashimi ni. Jane, kyotukete, matashine. Bye bye. Big guys, big guys, big guys. Bye.